Ladies and gentlemen, I've made it. I am here in Thailand. I'm in my Airbnb, which I rented out for one month for $373 um, in the Pratumnak, actually it's Pratumnak region of Patia City. Uh, it's a little bit to the south of the main city, uh, right by this big hill. Uh, I'll be showing you all that stuff, I'm sure. Um, the Airbnb's not much to look at, it's just a little studio. Uh, bed's really firm, might be good for my back, we'll see. Uh, TV's pretty big, I like that. Um, uh, Aircon works well, so that's a plus too, but uh, I don't know, I might be looking for an upgrade sooner than later, which was kind of the plan anyway. I just wanted to make sure I had a place to stay. So uh, I'm about to head out and explore the neighborhood. I don't think there's a ton going on in this neighborhood, but I've got two missions right now. One, I need to get some bottled water in here because you can't drink the tap water here in Thailand. Um, at least they don't re recommend it, at least to Westerners. Uh, and number two, I need to find some mosquito spray so I could keep going out and exploring without getting eaten alive. Um, let's see how that goes. Oh my God, everybody. What a day, what a day. Uh, I'm on the 16th floor of my condo. Uh, first day in Thailand. And I mean, it's been a day, it's been two days, it's been three days. I lost 12 hours traveling somehow. I now live in the future. <laughs> it's insane. Um, uh, but I'm here and God, it's lovely up here. There's a nice breeze Which is really nice. It's hot in Thailand <laughs> Nobody ever told me it was going to be this hot here. Okay. I'm lying. Obviously people told me it was going to be this hot It's hot and it's humid, but uh, you know, it's early evening right now and the breeze up here on this roof Unbeatable. I don't see how I could ever live in a place that doesn't have access to a roof like this. Uh, the sun's out, and the ocean's behind me, the ocean's all around me, it's panoramic. I'll take you for a little tour of this roof area, it's fantastic. Um, my missions this afternoon were a success. I got my mosquito spray and I got my water. Um, I checked out the neighborhood. I'll definitely have to take you guys on a walk around the neighborhood because it's pretty cool. Uh, all these like little shops and everything's open front. And the people are all fantastic and friendly and uh, yeah, it's just lovely. So as I was saying, it's been quite a day. I uh, flew out of LAX at 11.30 p.m. on Cathay Pacific Airlines, a uh, very nice airline. I booked extra leg room. I was in the emergency row, which meant there was actually no whole seat in front of me. A uh, huge spot where I could stand up and spread out. I could have done yoga there if I wanted. Uh, plenty of people were coming by and using it as a stretch out zone, which I was totally cool with. Uh, I slept a good eight hours, had dinner on the plane, woke up had breakfast on the plane, I watched uh, the DC uh, League of Super Pets. Uh, highly recommend, it was a lot of fun. Uh, tried to knock out some more again. Then landed in Hong Kong. Uh, I was a little worried about going through Hong Kong. I only had an hour for my turnaround. I was afraid customs was going to hold me up and I wouldn't be able to get through. Everything in Hong Kong went pretty well. I had to wear a mask the entire time while on the plane, well, except for eating. And throughout the Hong Kong airport, they're very strict about it. Uh, Hong Kong was pretty strict in general. I saw people in like hazmat suits. I went through security and they took my scissors away from me. Uh, but Cafe Pacific, obviously, they love on the plane in LAX, but whatever. I'll find some scissors here in town. I'll just add it to my mission list. I'm always adding things onto my mission list. Uh, tomorrow I want to go into Patia and start the process of looking into getting my education visa. See about going to school and all that stuff. But I don't know much about that yet. We'll update that as it goes. But I had no problem getting through Hong Kong security and onto my plane. I was at the gate early. It was nice and easy. Uh, then it was another three hour flight here to Bangkok. The Bangkok International Airport was a bit challenging. I 
kind of knew what to expect, but like finding your way around there was a little weird. I had some missions there. One, I wanted to get uh, some currency. Okay, that's crazy. Kids through that. There's like fireworks going off in the back. I don't see any, but I hear them. <laughs> I know there was a fireworks festival here just last weekend. I was really bummed to miss. It's an international fireworks festival with different countries representing and doing fireworks shows and bands in between. And I look forward to it next year, especially if I'm in this area. Um, but I'll have to see what that's about. Maybe they're blowing up the leftovers. Who knows? Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, Bangkok International Airport. So it was long. It was a lot of walking. I feel like I probably walked a couple of miles through the airport. I uh, had a couple missions. I wanted to get some cur currency exchanged uh, so I could pay for my taxi ride to uh, Patia and to my Airbnb. And then I wanted to get a SIM card put in a cell phone so that I had internet. And those went pretty easily and then I went through immigration. That was pretty nice and easy. Uh, then my taxi is waiting for me. Nice Thai lady with a uh, sign up with my name on it and she brought me here. Uh, then I had my missions here, went out, walked around the neighborhood. Can't wait to show you guys all that. And now I'm up here just kind of chilling on the roof, um, trying to stay up until night so I could avoid my jet lag. But uh, hey, you guys want to see this roof? Uh, let's go take a look. Walk around, we'll see what it looks like. All right, let's check this out. So that there, that's Prachinak Hill, uh, Prachinak Viewpoint. Uh, we headed up there at some point. Past that, that's Patia Beach. It's, I believe, 1.7 kilometers worth of beach there. And that's like the central part of the city. Uh, I'll be checking out that area a little bit tomorrow. Just kind of getting my feet wet. Not going to spend too much time there. Uh, this big building here is a funny story. That's like some crazy flagship condo that they started a couple years ago. And they messed up the elevator structure or something like that from my understanding. And so it's been just looking like that for a couple years. Uh, there's another big condo there coming around. We got more of the Gulf of Thailand. Here we got some stairs. Let's see what's up here. Oh, what's that? Is that a pool? Rooftop infinity pool on the 16th floor. Oh my goodness, my goodness. So over that direction is where the closest beach to me is going to be. Uh, I believe it's called Cozy Beach. I'm going to go look for that this evening. Uh, go check it out. Uh, then over here, we've got, there's a big old tower over there. We've got lots of buildings, uh, the pool, tons of condos. There's this nice little like lounge area here. There's uh, even a higher part there, but there's a lock on that gate. Not sure what that's about, but oh well, this is pretty nice. I really can't complain. And then we've got this crazy view out here. The back of Prompton that hill. Down that way, that's like John Tien Beach. Hear lots of thing, good things about that. Uh, Dogpen Beach is down that way as well. Um, but my next mission today is, I want to head that way. I want to find Cozy Beach, see what that's about. All right, guys, that's all for now. And uh, yeah, I really don't know what's going to happen with all this vlogging stuff, but I'll just keep filming stuff. And then I guess eventually I'll splice it all together. Coming from the 16th floor of the view, nope, the point condos. This is Pete signing out. Took a full day. Uh, 
in the second evening here in Thailand and uh, having my first beer and my first sunset down here at Cozy Beach. Uh, a little too many clouds to get a lot of cool colors, but the vibe here is fantastic. Uh, the day was interesting. I went into Central Pattaya for the first time, uh, completely struck out with trying to get an education visa based off of something I saw on YouTube. Anyway, uh, I've got a couple other avenues for that. So I'll look into that starting Monday. Uh, talked to some Dungeons and Dragons players today, actually one in general, uh, Dungeon Master who's running games on Thursdays. Uh, I might be joining them this Thursday. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, and he invited me to a tabletop role-playing convention in Bangkok on Sunday and Monday which is day after tomorrow and the day after that. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to go down there. Uh, but I'll let you know, maybe. Life's an adventure, we'll see. Um, looking at the sun, it's it's almost set. There's a little pink in the sky, a lot of clouds. Uh, temperature's really nice, beer is tasty. Uh, I really can't complain. Uh, two days in, <laughs> It's a little weird, but man, I am living the good life. Uh, tomorrow's big goal is to get my passport photocopy so I can carry around a copy of it instead of carrying around my actual passport. Leave that back in my room all locked up. Yeah, that's a big plan, right? <laughs> Cheers, guys. Wish you were all here. Yeah.